any new developing industry is always gonna have some impact. And I always joke that the problem with aquaculture is that it came of age in a time where there was internet and social media and stories of bad practices can spread like wildfire. There's been destruction of habitat, there's been pollution, there have been uh, release of compounds, chemicals into the environment. There's been use of antibiotics. The industry did have some issues when it first started. A perfect example of this would be the salmon industry. When it first started, their feed conversion ratios were 10 to one. That meant it took 10 pounds of food to make a pound of salmon. And today that's much closer to one to one, so almost an equal ratio. And for example, mangrove destruction was certainly an issue when shrimp farming first hit the scene. But today, shrimp farms don't destroy precious habitat. Um, and a matter of fact, many shrimp farms are involved in the restoration of those sort of habitats. The biggest challenge in regards to the environment is not of our making. It is climate change. And it is the impact of temperature changes and increases, ocean acidification, um, and how that impacts where fish can, or oysters can, or mollusks can be grown or not be grown in the future. That climate change issue uh, has both negative implications for aquaculture and the fisheries, but also positive ones as well. We will be able to grow some species in areas today and going forward that we weren't able to 10 years ago. Another thing to note is that different types of species or aquaculture have different environmental impacts and some aquaculture can actually be good for the environment. Oysters, mussels, shellfish in general, they're considered extractive species. They don't have to be fed and so they just take out uh, plankton and extra nutrients from the water to grow. And so you can actually have cleaner water when you're done with these species, so they not only provide a delicious seafood, but you're actually providing ecosystem services. The difference between aquaculture 20 to 30 years ago and aquaculture now is that the technology has just improved so vastly. Seafood is no exception to the advancement of more responsible practices through the use of really high-end technology that can help us track water quality, help us track animal welfare, how species are being managed. Over time, the amount of land, the amount of energy, the amount of water, and the amount of labor to raise a kilogram of product has vastly reduced. Aquaculture is becoming more and more efficient, more and more cost-effective, and more and more sustainable over time. Today, the aquaculture industries are typically very modern industries. You know, using less resources like water and feed and energy, that's not just good for the environment, it's good for business. So it's, you know, it's good for them to make improvements that drive down their resource use or their energy use. Um, and a lot of governments have recognized that they need to protect areas of habitat that are important for the environment. So, you know, destruction doesn't happen as much, and the industry certainly has changed and grown as you would expect any, any industry over you know, 40 years to do so. Um, and today, the environmental impacts of seafood are much less than other terrestrial proteins. Um, typically, when people ask me what's the best thing that they can eat for the environment, I just say seafood. We're getting to a point where the marketplace and consumers are trusting more that aquaculture is doing what it should do in regards to the environment. Aquaculture doesn't take up the same space that other proteins do, and from an environmental perspective, I feel this is one of the number one arguments. I wouldn't want to give the impression that there are no more challenges left in the aquaculture world. We're on a journey, and this journey is going to go on forever. And the end goal is, is a product that is beyond reproach. It not only meets all the health criteria and sustainability criteria, but think of it as one that actually reduces uh, carbon emissions, that actually helps solve some of the problems we face today rather than incrementally contributing to them.